Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204 for another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we saw what Bowser and Peach were up to, and uh, now we are back in Twilight Town with uh, the mayor and the bay. I couldn't believe it was a fake Mario all that time, so we were all fooled. My voice isn't, isn't great for this guy's voice today, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Let me try to... I'm so sorry, Mario. After all we've done... You've done for our town. Did we hurt your feelings? A, a little bit, yeah. You guys are kind of dumb. Uh, well, alright. It's okay to be in touch with your feelings. So then, you've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario. You need to get back to Roadport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit any time you like. Unfortunately, we're going to be coming back to visit relatively soon. It's so nice to be back in my body. It's so hard to get around when you're a piggy. Huh? What did you just say? Why, that's just rude. <laughs> you already are kind of a piggy, ma'am. Um, I don't remember if we had any items left over in the shop, so let's go see that because now we can at least you know, put the, uh, put the uh, items away. We're going to be coming back here for one of the Trouble Sender quests. Uh, also, I think whatever his face is, is gone. Yeah, it's just these two now. Uh, yeah, we still have the jam and jelly here. So let's, let's put away the R Ultra Shroom at the very least. Uh, let's store... Definitely the Ultra Shroom. Uh, one of the Boo Sheets. And I'm going to also buy myself a Life Shroom because I, I don't have one. I used it up when I was fighting the Amazing Daisies and uh, it's kind of good to have. It's a little expensive, but it's kind of good to have. Hello. Yeah, so let's store the jam and jelly for now, because this is an RPG, and it wouldn't be a good RPG if we didn't just, you know, if, if we just didn't use, however, I'm phrasing it badly. It's an RPG, which means we have to not use all of the very best items, because there's, we're going to have to save it for later, right? We can't use it up. We might need it at some point. Oh, man. My stashes of elixirs would like to have a word with me. <laughs> so many elixirs. But anyway, that was fast. I missed this. Oh my goodness, Mario, would that be an email from Princess Peach? Uh, uh, don't, 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 don't pay any attention to her. My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It's a cake! Wait, no. It's the spirit of a demon! The Axonauts plan to revive the thousand-year-old monster and use its powers to take over the world! They're collecting the crystal star so they can open the thousand-year door. They'll find this demon's spirit, but the only thing that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. We must not let them the get the crystal stars! Please, Mario, we must put a stop to their horrible plans. Princess Peach. An ancient demon's spirit? That's heavy stuff. That's heavy stuff. Uh, but while we are here, there's a few things that we can do in the Rogue Port sewers, uh, aside from uh, getting the uh, location of the next Crystal Star. Um, I think this episode, I'm going to be doing Trouble Center requests. And next episode is going to be trying to get a little bit further in the... Uh, pit of a hundred trials because at floor 50 we get something really nice. Ah, my kids spend all day shut up indoors. I hope he's not warped or anything. I sure would like to go to a deserted island where I could write without any worries. What? That's oddly specific. Uh, anyway, there's a thing in the floor here that we couldn't do anything about, but now that we can turn into a tube, we can yeah fall outside here and get ourselves a shine. And also head out this way. <laughs> into this guy's house. It was just kind of funny. Uh, 
But yeah, there's also one more room that we can uh, go to. I'm just gonna go from the other side of Roadport. There's one more room that we can go to in uh, in the sewers that will um, that we need need Vivian for. But I'm going to start a certain quest first, so that it's just a little easier for us to not backtrack. Oh my gosh, another email. Actually, the email stopped me in a good spot, because I also want to upgrade Vivian. Uh, Babulber, spicy! Did we read the Jolene? Mario, read that you can tell us. I realize I never thanked you for handling my request, so I decided to email you. I never thought for a moment that you, a former champion, would end up taking care of the wrestling trunks for me. After you left here, you know what Mush said to me? He said, There are some things that can only be understood by fighting. That's an odd one. He's an odd one, Mush. He's actually training now. Yeah, he's planning to come back. You should come by the Glitz Pit if, uh, if you get some time. You're just the type of star the fans crave, you know? Yay. Yes, hello to you. I'm Babulber. I've been unable to forget that savory hot dog flavor. My taste buds are sweating in anticipation of your next spicy visit. By the way, have you heard? Dry bouquets are not flowers that have withered that have gone dry. They're actually flowers that have had the clocks of their lives adjusted to take a little slower than normal flowers. I hope you will take the time to stop and smell these delicate flowers. In fact, I would like you to come visit me again about the above mentioned diet of yours and spices, Bamolder. Interesting. Um. Well, what were you doing there? Vivian? What were you doing? Okay, anyway. Let's, let's get her upgraded because I really like her next attack. Welcome. Yes. Shazibi! Shazubi! If only we could upgrade our party members one more level. We have to go beyond. Oh, she's so cute! Then you may go. Uh, so now, Vivian has 20 health and knows. Oops. Uh, and knows. Fiery Jinx, which is Shade Fist, but it attacks everybody. It costs 6 FP, but it is one of, in my opinion, one of the best uh, abilities in the game. Is the fire generally ignores defense also? Generally, I think? Um, but yeah, it's great. Anyway, we have three um, requests here. The Zest T1, we're going to do last just because we already have the item for it. It'll just be easy. But we're going to start with question mark, elusive badge. I'm after an elusive badge. You must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zest T's house in Rogueport Square. Poster is anonymous. This may be dangerous. Do it and do it right. Okay, so let's get, let's get Boko out so that we can just quickly run back there. Uh, if you remember, the roof of Zesty's house is where the bad shop is. So let's uh, let's go to that bad shop. If you remember, the way to get there is to go through here. Hey, Luigi! Oh gosh, that's a <laughs> that's an adorable little guy with a crescent wrench. Um, we'll talk to him soon because we're gonna have to come back here also for more things. Oh, hey! It's our, uh, thief friend. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. <laughs> I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take out my trouble. <laughs> well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I fail at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair of that much, I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it. Okay, sweetie? Alright, so we have to head to Hooktail's room in Hooktail's castle and try to find a badge. If you try to find this badge earlier in the game, uh, you won't find anything, sadly. Power Rush is really fun. Unsimplifier um, makes action commands harder, but you get more star power. I don't care. Uh, it's for the B. Uh, Shrink Stomp is really good, actually, but I just don't have the BP. That's that's not the, the build that I'm going for here. Uh, but... Yeah, let's head into the sewer now and get a few things done. Namely, uh, getting ourselves over to, uh, 
uh, flower petal meadows and doing that thing for Vivian. So, first things first. I know Petal Meadows is over that way, but um, the Vivian thing is over here. So if you remember, there's this room. It was full of spikes, oh no! Luckily, yeah. I forgot you have to press the button to get out of that. Ah, yeah, I don't know, Mario's controls seem a bit slower. I've been able to do this in two runs before. Anyway, we get the Spike Shield Badge! Finally! Yeah. Oh god, Vivian, I'm so sorry. I don't remember if it sends you back to the entrance of the room or if it sends you back to wherever your progress was, so I'm just doing this to make sure. Dang it. Yep, see, it does that. <laughs> so now we're stuck here forever. Um, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know why it takes so long for the Spike Shield Badge to show up in this game. Like, especially after we really could have used it. <laughs> we really, really could have used it, like, the past two chapters, but alas, I guess that's that's why. <laughs> that's why it didn't show up. Um, I'll just keep repeating it, whatever. Uh, we're going to take the regular path over to the Petal Meadows just because the Hype for Hooktail's castle is right at the entrance there, as opposed to the, the town entrance. That's over here. I don't think we need to get... Treasure chest is still taunting us. I don't think we need to get... Um, another... Uh, I was about to say blessing. Uh, fortune yet. I think we're still pretty good on that. I think when it runs out, it actually tells you it runs out, but I just like to preempt it usually. Yeah, I'm going to meet you all the way back, all the way up in Hooktail's room, just because that's going to take a while. Alright. So we're at the top of Hooktail's castle. And... There's absolutely nothing here! But wait, what's Mario looking at? So what you gotta do is use Flurry again to power the wind, and voila! Got Attack FXB badge. So we gotta take that all the way back. Remember we, when we got Attack FX badges in this game? Yeah. Um, does it count? I don't know if it even counts as a... R. No, I don't think it can. I think it's just a uh, regular item for now. So, yeah. That's all you gotta do here. And now I'm gonna meet you all the way back in Rogueport. Alright, so we're back. Uh, as a side note, if you really don't want to do the backtracking, uh, like, if, or if you just don't enjoy backtracking, we're going to have one more reason to go back to Hooktail's Castle after the next chapter, after chapter 5. A uh, very important reason, so if you want to push off this side quest till then, it's totally understandable. However, I wouldn't, and you'll see why. <laughs> Face doesn't mean you found the badge. Here you go. Well, this is certainly the badge I was looking for. Oh my, yes! <laughs> now my sweet promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hit that badge. It was a little game of mine. Oh, come on, really? I have to apologize. But I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You may have even more badge finding skill than I do. I just thought of something. If we're out here... No, no never mind. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Oh? 
because <laughs> I'm sure that to find lots of I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now about that reward, let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. Got the attack FXB badge. Now let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. And Ms. Mouse joined your party! This is the game's only secret character, which is a step up from the previous game, which all the characters were integral to the story. Ms. Mouse ability is a primer. Press X and Ms. Mouse will sniff out any items or objects hidden nearby. If you're having trouble with uh, finding um, you know, star pieces hidden in the floor and stuff like that, Ms. Mouse is your mouse. When you press X, I'll sniff around and, you'll, and tell you if there are any items nearby. There's something right near here! If there's something nearby, I'll let you know like I did just now. It's good if you don't have a guide. In battle, I can attack enemies with my love slap. I can also help you out by using my kiss thief uh, move to steal enemies' items. That's one thing, at least, when you see enemies that hold items, you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I had that. Uh, Ms. Mouse can actually steal it from them, so... Yeah, it's it's not too bad. She's not a great character. As you can see, she has 15 uh, health to start off. Uh, apparently, her slap pierces defense, which is nice, because if you remember, Lady Bo's slap from the previous game did not, so it stank unless you were fighting the uh, lantern guy or lantern ghost or whatever it's called. Uh, but yeah, I rarely use Miss Mouse. There's something nearby. So here that's kind of useless because the something that's nearby is that giant treasure chest that we can't get. <laughs> um, she's not going to be very useful in Rogueport until you like have the ability to actually search out more things because she's going to be like, wow, well, yeah, there's lots of stuff here. Uh, but while we're here, we may as well upgrade her. Um, but yeah, it's- I- I enjoy the fact that you could just- there's a hidden character- Shazubi! Shazubi! Just because, I don't know, she's interesting. And, uh, I like that the fact that she kept showing up actually factors into the game. It's not just, like, some random thing, you know? Then you may go. I'm sure that with her slapping powered up and piercing defense that could be overpowered, but uh, yeah. So now Ms. Mouse has 20 health and she has tease, which teases enemies with some sly moves making them dizzy. Again, I'm rarely going to use her, but she's there. It's certainly a fun, uh, fun character, not the worst. And uh, now, speaking of the worst, Mayor Dower newsletter. Would you please deliver the Civil Club newsletter routing slip for me? Please come pick it up at my house in Twilight Town. Yeah, so I hate this one because this one has you going around all over the place. Luckily, it's just the towns, so it's slightly easy. But, uh, where was. No, it was under. Right. It's banded. It's the banded over there, and that's. that's. darkly. Now we gotta go under Rogueport again and all that fun stuff. I just wanna see what this guy has. How you doing? Hey ho! Hey ho, everyone! Hammerman. One day I'll buy Hammerman and use it because it's crazy. <laughs> it's a crazy thing to do, but one day I'll buy it and use it because it will make me overpowered. And being overpowered is fun. You know what I haven't checked in a while? This. Hello! Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. No, I don't want a number. I want this. Uh, all winning. Blah, 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 blah. Seven nine seven nine. Sorry, it's an unlucky day, but we get a mushroom. That's why I think about your mushroom. Let's see if we can get to the Twilight Town uh, thing right away, or we'll fall. Yay! <laughs> Making it over a single gap excites me. Okay, 
So this is this is gonna be a lot of fun cutting. Heyo. Mario, you accepted my trouble request. My my, now that's something. I hoped you'd deliver the Silver Club newsletter routing slip to the Great Tree Elder. I used to bring it myself, but this hip is really growling at me. Would you take it for me? Alright, so we got a routing slip. It's tattered. <laughs> so now we gotta go to the Great Tree by the punies. Uh, luckily, we have a bit of a shortcut there through the sewers. But only a bit of a shortcut. Yeah, it's... This <laughs> the, uh... Oh, come on. This, this, uh, set of jobs is essentially old people being annoying. But yeah, so I'm just gonna meet you by the great tree. Very thankfully, uh, we just have those pipes that we unlocked, so we don't have to go through too much of a hassle. Hello. Well, hey there, Marty. Are you listening to- No. Why, well, there's a silver club and a router slip. You can't really give me this. When Twilight Town's mayor sent you, my last youth fountain bath was nice, I recall. Well, the slip now needs to go to Petalburg, Mayor. My heart is acting up. Sure it is. Say now, could you take this? Uh, okay, fine. You know, in the first game, we had a, um, ow. We had a, uh, uh, fetch quest like this that, you know, brought you the, the mail going around all over the place, so, you know, maybe we'll get something good. Like with the mail. Right? Right? Last, last one was the, uh, was it the feeling fine badge? I don't remember. I think this was the mayor. Hello. What can I do for you? I the Silver Club Brewster's ever puny out that cell and so and so ever back me to blood pressure cage I borrowed from her was great. Sit down last one side and said you can go back to Twilight Town Spider. I seem to have caught a bit of a cold. Could you take a day to ride there, baby? Yeah. Everyone's lazy. And now, let's go all the way back to Twilight Town. Alright, and here we are back in Twilight Town. Hello, Mario. Did you deliver the last letter routing slip or what? Yeah, here you go. The mayor of Petalburg has a cold with tarnations and diddly tankets. Oh, but you brought this back with you. Why, thanks. You sure are a lifesaver. Oh, and before I forget, here's your reward, Mario. Please, take it. 30 coins. We silver clubbers have been going strong for 20 years with our slogan. Age? What? We discuss longevity secrets and the like, you know. Maybe you'll join us in 20 years. <laughs> Use all the trouble. It wasn't worth it. I hate you. We have one more trouble to solve, and then our episode will be done. Alright, and for the final trouble... Zesty! Oop. Skip that. Where's... I want you to go find the legendary cookbook for me. It's in a pretty scary place. There's no way an old guy like me could get it alone. Please come to my house in Roqueport Square for details. Uh, we already actually got this, because if you remember when we were in the... Um, the cathedral place, the uh, steeple, creepy steeple. Uh, we went into a room and we found a cookbook. Uh, it was the room that you had to turn to a tube in, like, in the first area, so, yeah, that makes this easy. <laughs> hey. Hey, you took on the trouble? Well, it's really important to listen up, Ms. Cl Mr. Klutz. Ages ago, there was this great legendary chef named Maitre Delish, ha. Huh? Rumor has it that, uh, rumor has it you instantly become better chef by reading his book. Unfortunately, it's an old book that's hard to find. Stores don't carry it. But I've recently heard that someone who used to live in Creepy Steeple had a copy. There are many secret rooms in Creepy Steeple, so it's moldering there somewhere. I just have to get my hands on that book so, and read it. So help me out, Stumblebum. So then? Sure. 
Wait, no, I don't want you to cook for me. I want to give you the stupid book. Did you find it? Here you go. Ah, that's it. That's a book by Major Delish. Give it here quick. Here you go. Ha! I see. Aha! Mario's just like, what is going on? Whoa. I've got it now. Just gaze, glaze a mushroom with honey syrup and a yummy honey shroom. Brilliant! Yay! Now that's an effective book. Or I could have given you a reward. You have too much stuff. Yeah, so... Can recipes are required two ingredients? Just ask me any time. Okay, you solved the trouble. So now she can, like in the first game after giving her the cookbook, she can cook things with two different ingredients. So that's really cool. Uh, I'm going to give her a maple syrup and a super shroom. Uh, because it's kind of like the honey shroom that she just made there, except it's for both. So the honey shroom, as we will see, recovers 5 HP and 5 FP. Um, it's essentially the honey syrup and mushroom put together, so the maple super is going to be that, but with the super ingredients. Okay, and I'll show you like this to take a stompy. So with uh, some of the, some of the, uh, no, stop. Some of the stuff that you can find uh, has like really good potential, especially combining an ultra shroom and jam and jelly. Uh, but there's a lot of fun stuff you can make. I don't know if I'm going to be making it all during this Let's Play, but I'll be making a lot of fun stuff, hopefully, in the future. But that's going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to meet you at floor 30 of the Pit of 100 Trials, and we're going to try to make it to at least floor 50. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.